Hey everyone, what is happening? So today we're going to be looking at um, hydrolysis and dehydration. Um, so far in digestion, we've looked at the pathway of food and the organs involved and how they work and what they do. And we've also looked at the enzymes that help break down these polymers. What I want you to remember is that polymers are big and we need to break them down into their monomers, which are small. So they can move across the cell membranes in our small intestine so that we can use them in our cells. Um, let's just recap here. We've got carbohydrates, and carbohydrates, um, big long chains of carbohydrates are called polysaccharides, and these are, are, poly, these are polymers, and this goes to a disaccharide, and then this goes to our monosaccharides. Now, um, what I want you to look at here is the fact that our polysaccharides, if we just draw them out, are connected by some bonds. And then our disaccharide is just two of these, and our monosaccharides are just one. And these are usually um, glucose, fructose, or um, galactose. Um, remember, if we think about or we want to remember the enzymes that we've been um, talking about, um, salivary amylase, which is in our mouth, secreted by our um, saliva glands, is what's going to break down polysaccharides into smaller polysaccharides and sometimes even disaccharides. So we've got salivary amylase. Now, um, what we have next is we've got pancreatic amylase, which is produced in the pancreas and secreted into the duodenum to break down, um, to break down polysaccharides into disaccharides. And then finally, um, to break down disaccharides into monosaccharides, we've got three different enzymes, and these are maltase, we've got sucrase, and we've got lactase. And, um, Maltase breaks down maltose, which is two glucose molecules, and it breaks it down into a glucose molecule and another, another glucose molecule. And then we've got um, sucrase breaks down sucrose, um, which breaks down into fructose and glucose. And then we've got um, lactase, which breaks down um, a glucose and a galactose molecule into their parts. Now remember, all of these are produced in the duodenum and secreted into the duodenum. Our next one that we have, we have proteins. And proteins, remember, their um, polymer are polypeptides, and they get broken down into dipeptides. And then from there, we just get amino acids. Now, um, if you think about a polypeptide, this is just a bunch of amino acids, things like um, arginine, all the different amino acids that we've dealt with. So things like alanine, Aspergine, proline, serine, um, those, all those are amino acids and they make up our polypeptide chains. And then dipeptides are just two amino acids. And then amino acids are just singles. Now, remember that um, in our body, um, the enzymes that break down proteins are um, pepsinogen. And I'm going to put a slash here for pepsin because remember, this happens in the stomach, but uh, pepsinogen requires the addition of hydrochloric acid to break it down into pepsin, which is the active form which breaks down um, polypeptides into uh, smaller polypeptides. Now, the next one we have is we've got trypsin, and trypsin is produced in the pancreas and secreted in the duodenum, and it breaks down polypeptides into dipeptides. And then finally, we've got um, peptidase, and peptidase is produced in the duodenum. Um, and secreted into the duodenum, and it breaks down the individual amino acids. Now, finally, we've got our fats. And so we've got fats, and which is another word for lipids. And remember that um, these are also called triglycerides, and that's because it's made up of a glycerol and three fatty acids. So this is our glycerol and three fatty acids. Remember that um, the liver makes bile, which is not an enzyme, and it's stored in the gallbladder, and it helps break down fat into smaller globules. This is mechanical digestion. Now, to break it down into the individual parts, um, lipase is going to be used. And remember that lipase is an enzyme that's produced by the pancreas and used in the duodenum, and it breaks it down into its individual parts. Now, how do we these enzymes actually break apart these polymers? This is the meat and potatoes of this lesson. Um, this is through the process of hydrolysis um, of how we actually break things down. All right. So we've got hydrolysis. Okay. So hydrolysis means water break. 
And so let's check out a disaccharide, maltose. So let's draw this. And if we look a little bit deeper, you'll see that this bond is actually, it has an H here and an H here and an O there. Now, what happens, the bond between the two glucose molecules is broken by the addition of a water molecule. So we're going to add in some water. This is H2O. This is just like you drinking um, water during a meal. And what happens is it comes in and um, reacts with that bond and the hydroxyl group from the water attaches to the monomer. So what happens is we get a glucose molecule here and another glucose molecule here, but they're no longer attached. And what we get is we get an H and an OH. And over here we get an H and an OH. This helps separate the um, maltose molecule into um, its parts, the two glucose molecules. All right, so the hydroxyl group from the water attaches to one monomer and the hydrogen attaches to the other, other monomer. Now, you're like, well, where do the enzymes actually come in? Well, enzymes, what they do is, so the enzymes that we talked about just before, um, they help speed up these reactions. So the opposite to hydrolysis, so hydrolysis is breaking things down because we need to break things down into the smallest parts so they can get across the cell membranes in our jejunum or our small intestine. Now, we also need to be able to put these molecules back together, A, for storage or for uh, making muscles or for um, building DNA molecules. And this other process is called dehydration. And this means, um, this is linking monomers together to form polymers. So at the end, uh, we're gonna look at um, a polypeptide. And so on one end of a polypeptide, there's an H. And then we have a bunch of amino acids. And on the other end of the um, poly, polypeptide is an OH or a hydroxyl group. And you can probably start to see where I'm going with this. Now, if you were going to combine some um, proteins together inside your body after you've digested them, and they've gone through your cell membranes in your, in your small intestine, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to put them back together. And another amino acid is going to have a hydrogen, and it's going to be just an amino acid by itself or a monomer. And we're going to have an OH here. Now, what you can see is that these two ends, so an OH and an H, that is actually going to form, that is going to form H2O. And then we're left with what we started with, but now it's combined. So we have an H over here, and then we have, and then we have now a larger polypeptide chain, um, and we get a water out. So those two processes are very important for um, many different things happening in our body. One for digestion, but then also building um, the building blocks of life. All right, take a read through that. And um, our next lesson is going to be on uh, the liver and pancreas. All right, take care. Bye-bye.